Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon and Rising Sign of Aries. So Aries, this is going to be your weekly for the 21st through the 27th of January 2019. I hope everyone had a wonderful, blessed, happy new year. And I've been, the cards are ready, I've been meditating and shuffling before I turn the camera on and we are ready to rock and roll here. So, Aries, um, I will be clarifying with another deck of cards as well, and I will also be pulling oracles as well. So, here we go. Beautiful. Uh, this is the overall energy for you this week, Aries, and this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy right here. Beautiful. The Queen of Wands. This is a queen that knows what she wants she goes after what she desires and what she wants she's independent she's very passionate she's a very beautiful sexual being so let's see what else we have here all right the situation of the week aries the devil so you might be dealing with the capricorn as well i kind of feel like this is your energy I, you guys could just be feeling full of yourself this week, or you could be feeling a little restricted, maybe. We will look further on into the reading and see what we get here. What's driving you? Okay, you might be dealing with the Scorpio. We have the Death card. This is endings. This is transformation. So, you guys might be transforming this week. You know, using this energy of the Queen of Wands to... Get that, you know, you guys already have that fire element, you know, so you fired up and ready to rock and roll. All right, with the Knight of Pentacles, could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is in your recent past. I feel like this is you guys being practical with your money, saving. Um, this could be long-term investments as well, Aries. Knight of Wands, all right, this is what's crowning you, this is what's going up in your mind, you guys, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, again, your own energy, um, this could be taking a risk, because, you know, the Knight of Wands, he's a risk taker, uh, he's very passionate, he goes after, you know, sometimes he's a little bit too risky, and I feel like with this devil popping up here, there could be some gambling going on, there could be some, uh, or just, you know, taking risks on stocks as well. So, I will clarify and we'll see what's going on here. The Knight of Cups. So, this is your new circumstance. So, this is somebody that is, you know, romantic, offering their cup of love. This could be an opportunity, a gift. This could also be travel. Let's go ahead and let's clarify these cards for you with the Steampunk. I'm going to go ahead and clarify the Queen of Wands first for Aries. And let's see what's going on here. Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. So, Aries. All right. Overall energy clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. So, this is beautiful. This is a new opportunity. This is something of... Uh, wealth and health, it's long term. That could be, you could be investing in stocks. This could be investing in work, starting a business. But this is for the long term. This is something that's going to be long term for you. It's not short lived. So that's, that's beautiful. Let's go ahead. Let's clarify and see what this devil is about for Aries for the situation. I have this right here. Beautiful. So, the Ace of Cups is clarifying the devil here. So, I feel like where you were strict, restricted before Aries, um, you're not going to be restricted um, come the end of this week. You know, your new circumstance with this Knight of Cups. This can also <clears throat> be a new love coming in, a love opportunity where maybe you was feeling restricted um, maybe you were wanting to ask someone out that, that was seeing someone else or was already in a relationship. And I feel like um, maybe they're single now because you felt restricted in it in some sort of way. Now, if this has to do with business, this is a new opportunity. 
Um, and this is abundance. This is the cup runneth over. So you're not going to be restricted anymore, Aries. You're going to be able to move forward with what it is that you want. Let's go ahead and let's clarify this death card for Aries. What is this death card about? Page of Cups. All right, you, death card. This is transformation, endings, and this fits very well with this. This is the Page of Cups. This is what's driving you. So I really feel like, you know, this could be a, like I said, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or this is your energy. And I feel I feel like this is the energy you're embodying. This is, this is somebody that is uh, like in love, love, romance. This is also psychic intuitive abilities. This is uh, kind of going within and seeing things uh, from a different, uh, got, taking it, your emotions to a deeper level and more emotional level so you very well could be uh, making a love offer or someone could be making a love offer to you as well Aries because this isn't a very th this person has a great imagination as well so I mean that, that's beautiful and it fits right in with transformation because this is creativity and uh, intuitiveness and you know that, that's kind of what it takes to transform right You've got to be creative and, you know, know, start looking and know what it is that you want. And that is way too many cards. I am so sorry. I love this steampunk, but they are slippery. Let's go ahead. Let's clarify this Knight of Pentacles that's in the recent past for Aries. Very interesting. All right. Knight of Pentacles clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. So... You guys have really been working hard on what it is that you've been investing your time in. It's something that is practical. It's going to serve you in the end. Um, with that coming up twice, you guys, this, this Ace of Pentacles, you guys have either hit a jackpot. You, you know you have been investing your money very well. This could be a new job opportunity as well. Let's go ahead and let's clarify the Knight of Wands for Aries. Eight of Wands. So, with this Knight of Wands here being clarified by the Eight of Wands, this is fast communication. This is news coming in quickly. You know, you. this is the universe uh, coming back to you quickly. This is what you put out and now it's coming back. And it's going to be swift and fast. And you already are aware of this. And I, I feel like it's about this money situation here. Um, this is exciting news that's coming in. Hell, some of y'all might be fixing to ask somebody, you know, to for their hand in marriage. Uh, or someone may be asking you as well. What's this Knight of Cups? Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> Alright, so with the Knight of Cups being clarified by the Five of Pentacles... I feel like you're tired of being alone because I, your financial situation is is on point, Aries. I feel like this is more of a, an, a loneliness card, maybe feeling left out in the cold. Maybe um, I, I feel like maybe you've been alone for a while and now you're ready to go offer your cup of love to someone, uh, ask someone out. I feel like all your finances are set. You've got your priorities, you know, um, <clears throat> in order here. I mean, this is a very positive reading. I just feel like I'm talking to some single Aries out there that are ready to get into a relationship. This doesn't necessarily mean that you know or, or you're going to go and offer someone your cup of love. You might just be ready to, you know, start a relationship, go out looking, start, you know, dating Start going out. That's what I'm getting from this. This is beautiful. Beautiful reading. Very positive. Let's go ahead and see what the Angels Oracle has to add for you, Aries, for this week. What's the extra message the Angels want, Aries? Let's see. All right. This is Adriana. I am leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen to... And follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. So this is beautiful. Like I said, 
this is uh, with this page of cups here. Listen to your dreams. Your your. Uh, I really feel like your angel spirit, your spirit guides are communicating with you right now. Um, you're on the right path, Aries. Listen to signs, symbolism, your dreams, uh, because they are working with you right now. All right, let's go ahead and let's take a look. This is uh, going to be a affirmation for Aries for this week. What do you have for Aries? Beautiful. My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. Beautiful, you guys. I mean, that is very positive. Um, it goes with your angels card here. You are being led by the universe and your angels and you're going in the right direction. Like I said, for many of you, I feel like you're at a point where you feel stable. You, you feel good about um, your money situation and now it's you're wanting to connect with someone and you are on the right path. Thank you so much, Aries, and I will see you next time. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. Bye-bye.